Namaste Soul Tribe, welcome back to the Matrix Oracle. This is a pick a card uh, connected to this full moon in Aries, October 17, 2024. This is about remembering who you are. I have to tell you, preparing for this energy, I already did the cosmic energy alignment. I'm using tuning forks, acupressure, but the amount of light codes, light remembrance that we're receiving. Do you see here this healing chamber? It's just tremendous, tremendous amount of light retrieval that we are gathering. So here today, you're going to have some messages to remember the light that you are, remember who you are, remember some parts of you that are needed at this time to be fully activated so you can really harness your mission, what you came here to achieve as a soul. For the ones that are interested, um, as far as what I experienced, it's a little bit of a long story, so I want to write it down in the comments below where I'll, I'll share my story about this cosmic energy alignment. The ones that are part of the YouTube Starseed Rise Up family, you'll see that I added this comment to the cosmic session, um, but I do want to share this type of information because it's very dear to my heart. It goes back to childhood. It goes back to tapping and healing the inner child. And this is part of something that is very dear to my heart is to heal the children. And that also means us as grown children. Okay. Um, so I'm, I let the ones that are interested in this little story to look into the comments and let's pick those three piles first. I kept the, on the side, you're not seeing this because I will do the astro forecast for this. Um, but I'm keeping the map of this event because I do feel that some of you, you're getting more and more curious about astrology and you're more and more able, even if you don't have like, um, the knack for it, or just like th there's certain things that your soul is remembering because of your uh, ability to connect to the stars, to connect to your stars family, to connect to your purpose, which is also connected to your natal chart. So I am keeping this in the background because I feel that, um, yeah, the people tuning in have starting to awaken really strongly their connection to their inner light, a light that is beyond just this earth, a light that has come with a very specific purpose. So let's see those three piles. I'm using here the Oracle of the Mermaids. We have dragons, we have Mother Isis, and I have, um, you know, the dreams, a little deck that I like to use for the subconscious because working with the moon, we're working with the high priestess, we're working with mastering our self uh, awareness through tapping into the subconscious mind. Okay, so... Pile one, two, and three. And let's look at pile one. We have water flight. Heaviness lifts, burdens are cast away, weightlessness. Now, for choosing the zodiac, I feel this is important because I'm just feeling this. Uh, this full moon in Aries is very close to the collective Chiron retrograde. I would strongly suggest looking at your Chiron placement for picking your pile, um, just because there is this connection that I feel that almost is meant to remember you, who you are because the wounds you experienced in this lifetime and past lifetimes is part of this light information, light code, light transmission, specific mission, light transmission, you know, like to transcend, to arrive to this mission, um, that there's a lot of potential through Chiron placement because this is what activates the guru within you, okay? So number one, water flight. Pile number two, divine sensuality with making love and erotica. Okay. Pile number three, the Selkie and her skin, reclaiming your authenticity. Okay, so three piles. 
And now let's look at the zodiac placement. We need messages about remembering who we are, especially in alignment with this full moon in Aries. Okay, the piles are here. Okay, pile number one, we have Libra, we have Aries, we have Leo, and we have Virgo. Pile number two, we have Sagittarius, we have Gemini, we have Scorpio, and we have Cancer. In pile number three, we have Pisces, we have Aquarius, Capricorn, and we have Taurus. Okay, so there we go. Here are the three piles. Again, choose according to what feels right to you. This is for this full moon in Aries, October 17, 2024. To remember who you are. I will see you for those messages. Hi, pile number one. Let's tune into those messages for this full moon in Aries. The light of remembrance about who you are. There is here a connection to the ocean, to the whales. Interestingly, already, I'm already, <laughs> I'm already, already um, getting the message for you that you might want to connect to the Orion frequency. Why I'm saying this? Because my frequency for Orion has whales sound. And it talks about matriarch. There's like this, this connotation here that I feel maybe is going to help you lift of the heaviness. Um, Orion star seeds are very connected to master their mind so they don't get overwhelmed by their emotions. Okay, so there might be something here that can support you. Pile number one to remove the heaviness, the congestion of certain past emotions so you can better see who you are. Because this full moon is part of the new moon cycle in Libra that started with the solar eclipse energy. And we're learning how to become this magnet to good vibration. And that means this is a process. And here at a halfway point of this cycle, we have this illumination. We have this activation we're receiving to get more of that light information so we can see what it is or that we need to attune in terms of frequency. I feel that for you, pile number one, there's very much something about frequency. I am going to put in the description box of each pile, uh, in the description of this video, the music that I recommend. So you're going to have Orion and right away I'm going to recommend the decongestion of your fascia, okay? Emotional numbness or congestion of the emotion in the structured water of your body. This is actually uh, part of the frequencies that I'm using for the cosmic alignment. If some of you are curious about what I experienced when I did this frequency alignment, energy alignment, I was mind blown. I've been mind blown with those alignments. So if you want to read my feedback on the session um, and what I discovered, you can read it in the comments. I will pin this. Okay. All right. So let's get started because I <laughs> you had a lot of information right off the bat. Ooh, bats are about intuition. They use a sonar just like the whales, just like the dolphins. There's something about your intuition, your sonar. So now when I'm looking at what's going on in the chart, the sun is in the second house and 
In the second house, we also have Mercury. There's something maybe about the way you talk about your self-worth or that you're not seeing about your self-worth that is much needed for you to remember fully your potential, to remember who you are. Okay. There we go. I feel might be. Okay. I was I'm surprised. I didn't expect three, but I do feel there's something here oh yes wow look at this portal of light it's interesting because this is so like sun energy and this is so blue like moon energy like undercover there's something that is occurring energetically for you pile number one so it says here portal of light it is only this physical reality that is bound by time and space you are a conscious being on levels beyond the physical world you are guided to work with your healing powers beyond the confines of time and space you will not become ungrounded through such spiritual work you are not leaving your earthly connection behind you are merely adding to it mm. okay all right interesting okay we have here mm. growth mm. i challenge myself to step outside of my comfort zone as i travel on the road to growth and illumination i don't know why but i feel i want to put them this way okay <laughs> okay audrey <laughs> Then we have messages. I receive powerful messages from my guides right now. I trust my feelings. It says to you, stay tuned here, my dear pile number one. There's something that is growing inside of you, of your subconscious, through those energies, through this illumination, through this full moon activation. Aries is a zodiac, oh, zodiac archetype that is connected to the seed of creation it seeds the ground for playground for the grid work for what idea we want to birth what idea we want to shine the light on because your light gives life so everything starts with aries first the light intention the will the divine will okay and there's something here about you when you want and tell yourself i want to remember my true self i want to see the light i want to connect to the light of my true self there's something very powerful for this pile the request oh this is why i mentioned the mercury not in the second house claim claim that you want to remember who you are joy i follow my bliss and accept limitless joy very interesting joy connects me right away to this fifth house energy where we have pluto pluto right now is going for the final time direct in capricorn before it shifts uh, november 19th into aquarius for that's it 20 plus years okay cycle so we're moving totally into a new age here with Pluto, uh, moving into Aquarius. Those degrees, they're talking about breaking free from the, the soul entrapment, the mind entrapment. So right now, pile number one, it seems that for you to remember who you are, First, you have to use with the growth. You have to use some of the tools that you've developed so far on your journey. Some of you, if you don't have any tools, if you're new to awakening or listening to those type of readings, okay, uh, tune into the frequencies that I suggest. And then especially for you, I would suggest first the, the congestion of the fascia, okay, especially in terms of the water element, this frequency, is helping you with a mantra it's a chant it's a secret blessing in Jap japanese uh for the water it's going to uh re destructure the water in your cells that vibrates to lower frequencies 
and help you shed it and realign to higher frequencies. This is how powerful we are. We are over 75% water. So obviously water is very important. It's very important for you, pile number one, especially with this energy here of upliftment. So once you use the tool that supports you, you're going to be able to tap to some of the messages to attune to greater joy. Okay, if you've been feeling... Uh, you know, that there is things in your life that don't allow you to fully, for example, be present in the moments of gratitude because your mind is split by oh, thinking, oh, well, but you know, like next, next problem. Okay. Oh, that been, been resolved. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm happy. And it lasts an hour, two hours, and then you're on to the next problem. I feel like this pile here feels very much, uh, caught in, um, this type of almost like mind trap that is very well seen and almost like, um, you know, uh, we're entrapped in this with the nine to five, you know, as far as the matrix, the old template of the matrix, it's just like from one to the other, one to the other, Monday like this, Tuesday like this, blah, weekend, you know, it's just like, ex uh, it's, there's no more surprises. And I feel like there is for you a need to break free from this type of entrapment. I can see how um, this is playing out very strongly for you, pile number one. You're going to break free um, because there's something in the neurons. I'm seeing here Mars. Mars is the tarot card in, a, um, in, in the tarot. Um, and that's zapping. That's like there's like this lightning onto the tower. You're the tower. You're the structure. There's something to destructure in uh, probably here the fascia the emotions, and it's such an opportunist time because you're going to see truly your potential, okay? So this is like messages just to get into that place. Now, once we get into that place, okay, that energy space, what can we expect here for pile number one to remember what is their light attuned to? What is this remembrance that they're meant here to gather. Okay, all right. Okay, we have the air. Breathing deep, entering into life, exchange of life bringing energies. Okay, so you're meant to breathe into life something. And you know what is so interesting to me again? Aries in Chinese, traditional Chinese medicine is connected to the lungs. Do you see why it makes so much sense? Because when we're born, the first things we take is first breath. This is the first element we need coming onto the physical plane. Remember, you're spiritual, but when you come onto earth, this lung activation is very strong. So you're here to birth something. Let's see what Whoa, I didn't remember this dragon. Omega dragon, harness the divine feminine power of creation. Oh, I got chills everywhere, everyone. Oh, intention, hold your vision, birth the higher consciousness. This, this type of colors, so much like depth, so much like a, you, you, um, deep blue. It just feels very starseed-like. just feels like it really, there's something very spiritual about you, pile number one, that you're meant to remember. You're here for creation, for showing, and, and I think... Because I mentioned the old matrix of nine to five, this is creating a life that is in more rhythm with the joy of being in bodies, incarnation, in uh, experiencing this earth. You're here to um, harness this power um, through the feminine, 
And now feminine energy, you know, has this this connection to to being a channel, to be a, a high priestess for this type of bridge, okay, bridging. You're here to bridge energy. With the omega energy, this is also about oneness. Some of you, you might connect to Lemuria times. You know, this you've you can maybe at a soul level, um, your a part of you might be yearning for collective consciousness to rise and to create anew. So this is what your light is trying to help you remember at this time. The power of your creation. And some of you, what you're going to see through this activation, and if you want to join us for the cosmic alignment, again, that's, I'm inviting you and only come if you're, you know, vibrating and resonating with this. And I feel that this pile really needs to feel it in their bones to, to move towards this direction. And I feel that this full moon in Aries is moving those things for you. So if it's an intense energy, know that uh, the secret geometry for this is, is creating especially a grand square, like a secret square. And that creates a lot of growth, a lot of growth. A lot of growth for us and for you, especially pile number one, to receive the way, the way, and the way is going to be through your heart field, through your emotions, through your new rights, which are the neurons of your heart, your physical heart, new rights. If some of you don't believe it or just go and look it up, your physical heart has neurons just like your brain. There's a shift here. There's a switch here. You know, I just remember something for you. And I can't remember who. There's, there's someone popular. I don't know if it's Neville Godar. I, can't, I think it might be him, but I'm not sure. So there is something about a meditation that I heard where you imagine your third eye. When you need more source energy and you just flip, switch on the light. Imagine that your third eye is just like a light switch. When you need more light, switch on. Switch on that light. Switch on maybe to see more of who you are. Make that request. Consciously ask. When you're going to go into meditation, some of you definitely hear breath work. Very important to activate this. Beautiful. Listen, pile number one, that's all I have. That is really, if you chose according to your uh, Chiron placement, I also am going to include for all the piles uh, my playlist for the Chiron Wounded Healer. This is my Karmic Astrology playlist to help rebalance those energies. I work with Gratitude Mantra for all of those frequencies. If you feel you want some support with this, uh, I would suggest, so it's going to be either Aries Libra, Leo Aquarius, Virgo, Pisces, or, well, Libra and Aries, there we go. <laughs> okay, because uh, on that playlist, I work with the opposite, the opposition, okay? So that's what I have, my dear pile number one. I trust this supported you, and if it did, please give it a thumbs up. It brings a smile on my face, honestly. And thank you so much for the ones that are like commenting and going through the reading, listening, and giving me comments as they listen. It's just very, I, I feel very much part of your experience, and it brings really a smile in my heart and on my face. So thank you so much for your presence. Namaste. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your messages. This is about remembering who you are, remembering your light. And this is something that is occurring with this full moon in Aries, this big highlight on this remembrance of why you came to incarnate and what we need to address at this time, rectify, because that's the degrees of the moon that is also next to Chiron. How can we balance our feminine, our masculine, our mind, our hearts, so we can fully see the truth of our light? See the truth 
of ourselves and uh, why we came here to incarnate. So with this divine sensuality and making love erotica, I know pile number two, this is about embodiment for you. Your body is a sacred temple, is a sacred vessel. You would not believe the amount of information I'm receiving now that I'm doing so much more of the collective cosmic energy, energy sessions with a lot of breath work and the tuning force and the acupressure point, the release. The, I'm like, how? It's like the information is, is in my body, is in my cells. And some of you, if you want to read a little bit of that experience that I had for this cosmic alignment, for this full moon, I'll put it in the comments uh, and pin it because it was such... A crazy story and that I was like oh my god how am I how am I what like how does my body remember this into such extent and I feel for you pile number two your body your body knows it knows things okay that when you care for it when I, I feel like, especially for you, when you, uh, because of all this pink color, or when you empower your joy, uh, what makes you feel good, there's just a very strong activation here for you. Yeah. And if you chose according to zodiac signs, we have Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, and Gemini. I strongly, strongly suggest your Chiron placement. Okay. You can also look at your zodiac sign, but it's just the moon is just so close to Chiron and it just has so much potential to help you remember your light because, you know, Chiron is the asteroid and archetype of the wounded healer. It will support you to become your own guru, to know how to tap into those infinite source of knowledge and abundance to heal yourself. Because you're the only one that knows that way. We're together, you know, putting pieces together. And that's beautiful. We exchange, we learn, we teach. But there's, there's, there's something about our bodies that just knows the right chemistry. I feel that for you, there's something about chemistry. Okay, so let's put this to the side. Yeah, well, no, I feel I want to keep them. You know, it might be because I'm keeping also in the background and you can't see that uh, the secret geometry. I'm seeing what's happening for the full moon in Aries. I have it in the background. So if there's anything that comes up that is aligned with this, I will see it. So I think this is why I want to keep the astrology. A lot of you are starting to remember uh, thanks to astrology, thanks to tarot. By the way, tarot cards are all connected to placement in the chart. Okay, so you know, uh, placement and planets and and zodiac signs. So let's see what we have for you. There's a similar alignment here. Pile number two. Who are they? Who, what do we need to know to support pile number two to remember their light? Remember the light of their presence. I feel there's something about your presence, your charisma. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see first with this Isis card. Beautiful. The dark mysteries. The dark goddess calls you to her inner chamber, where she holds a test and a gift for you. The test is your willingness to meet and release the fears within that have been secretly holding you back. The gift is freedom, peace, opportunity, and prosperity in all its forms. Will you accept her call? Your time for deeper initiation is here. Wow. The dark mysteries. There's definitely here the principle of the feminine, the hidden, healing the wounds, healing the wounds of the bodies, the bodies, the multi-layer dimensional body. This is what I heard when I said the bodies. <laughs> yeah. Some of you, it's 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 um I'm seeing something interesting and I want to address it. You have the ability as you 
remember your light. As you release your fears, you're going to be able to start picking up on aura and how people's aura will literally shape shift how they appear to others, but also, furthermore, to themselves. Have you ever seen those like beautiful people, girls, boys, whatever, and they, they just, when they talk about how they look, you can sense that they're not seeing what we're seeing. Have you ever seen this? Yeah. Okay. So that's, the, I feel that there's something about your perception because I'm like locked eyes with this one. I just, it's almost like I can't get, stop looking at her. Some of you, maybe you're not realizing that the way you see yourself is shape sh shifted by how people see you or believe what you are. Okay. So let's see here. Cause I feel that it is part of you reclaiming your power here by fully harnessing what you want to see in the mirror, what you want to see that you're shining through. But the way there is not, it, it just doesn't feel like it's a straight line. You know, it's not like, oh, I'm just going to do affirmations and it's going to get me there. I don't feel that with your pile number two. There's some deeper knowledge that you have access. Okay, let's see. Fearlessness. I pay close attention to my heart and mind. I do not allow fear to distract me. You know, I, it's so interesting because I was going to skip this story, but I guess not because I started seeing myself auras when I started doing hot yoga. I was led to do hot yoga because of a repetitive injury, a broken hip. And I, I had so much scar tissue in my body. Ooh, look at this. I had so much scar tissue. So many scars were trying to lock me. I dedicated myself to this practice, even though one of my greatest fear was, um, I, I, I felt like I was suffocating in that type of heat. So I had to use such mental power to be able to stay in the room that the exercise was not even like challenging so much, but especially the heat. And it took everything I had in me and I committed so much. Um, I did four months nonstop every day, 90 minutes for four full months, seven days a week. And my scar tissue was gone. It no more. I literally had my whole hip. My whole hip was totally, it, it was so painful, you guys. I had, I, stretching was not cutting it. I needed the, the heat and, and the openness of the fascia, which is very interesting because this is, well, it's coming back, the decongestion of the fascia. So for you, I'm going to also recommend looking at the, um, the recommendation uh, in the playlist for the fascia and maybe also for Orion because Orion star seeds have great self mastery over their mind. And now that I'm looking at the astrology, we have Orion that is smack in the mid heaven of this event. And what that means is the public life. Maybe some of you, because you are already in the public life, maybe you have, you know, followers or you have a business, people look up to you, okay? Or if you're trying to get into that position, you're trying to build something, there's something about the eyes, remember I felt it, okay? And the fears that are coming from those type of eyes, use that frequency. Orion is going to help you and the decongestion is going to support the clearing of that mess. I'm feeling a lot of entanglement. Some of you, let me see. Oh yeah, that this moon with Chiron is in the eighth house. That means we're detangling. There's a lot of quantum entanglement from the way, especially for you, pile number two, you feel about yourself. All your insecurities, I feel, you're going to attract exactly the people that are going to trigger those insecurities. Some of you, it's especially physical. 
the way you look. It doesn't have to be exclusively, but if you've ever felt um, um, self-conscious about how you look and how people see you, or you need to have makeup, or you need to have a proper haircut or pro proper watch to show status, or this is definitely your pile. And this has been keeping you from fully seeing your light. Okay. Let go. So we're releasing this crap. Okay. I release the old and embrace the new. I grow into my very best self. It is something that is very important to you. You, you really want, you have that, that drive. And it's interesting because that's where we have the sun right now. That's going to create that illumination in placement that talks about being on a mission, bettering yourself, understanding how to be better. Bettering yourself is some of you don't get confused about bettering your body. Your body will give you efficiency. It's like you will feel that your body looks perfect, not because perfect is an exact weight, height measurement. It's because it's a feeling. It's a feeling. The best way that I can help you uh, connect to this energy is that if I had asked you to describe a perfect moment of, you know, in a relationship, what would you do? Like, is it, it like, for me, it's always, I always see like, you know, sitting in, in the couch uh, with a big blanket and a cup of cocoa, especially if it's winter, and just watching a lighthearted movie. That to me feels perfect. I have other moments where it can be like, oh, you know, going on a hike and discovering adventure. Okay, but it's like, this is not so much how your body or how the person looks or how you look or how uh, those details are. It's about the feeling it creates in you. So some of you, there's some discovery about what truly makes you feel those feelings that you are seeking. Your body has the answer and that might be why there's a um, hyper focus here on the vessel because through movement, through breath, you will get your answers. You will get your answers. And we're going to get more uh, answers here. Divine dream. I am divinely guided. My intuition shows me the way through my dreaming world. Pay attention to your dreams. Pile number two, especially with this activation, I really feel that there's some of your fears, maybe fears of being seen, that are going to be revealed to you. And when you're allowing yourself to receive this information, and some of you, if you don't have tools to do this, please just go and check out those, those frequencies. This is why I create them, because when I do readings like this, and I'm like, okay, well, just figure it out. I know that the frequencies can help you release some of the ten tension lines, okay? You might have some tension lines here, okay? I do feel I'm going to add for you pile number two. I'm going to add the Pleiades. And you know why? Because when I said tension line, I'm seeing that the seven sisters, which is the Pleiades, is Quincunx, created this, this tension line with the sun. So I feel that for you, there could be an ability to upgrade your third eye's perception with the Pleiades frequency because it's going to bring this light within and not without. Not too much hyper-focus on the outside, but more on the inside. Okay, now that we figure this out, because <laughs> it's, you know what, it, it just feels like uh, you had to overcome a lot here, pile number two, okay? This was not an easy road to get even to tap into this message and be here, okay? Once you access this level of space, because for you, it creates space. Let's see what comes. Wow. Royal blue and gold dragon strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom. It awakens your own majesty. It says, wear your cloak of power with pride. There's something maybe... You know, maybe some of those fears is that there's a 
subconscious or conscious fear of being fully seen and thinking that if people fully knew you, the real you, um, they wouldn't like you or they would criticize you or you would be vulnerable. And this needs to drop. This definitely is part of what is keeping you trapped from remembering fully your light through, you know, there's, the, I told you at the beginning, there's a charisma, there's a natural charisma that doesn't come from the version of you that had to fight and what the body had to go through. It's a version of you that um, you, le you learn through all those ups and downs, how to soften, how to listen more, how to let go, how to surrender, how to not back down even when you were scared. Yeah, just go where, you know, it's almost like um, there's a part of you with this pile, the part of your light to remember who you are is, is a very dedicated soul um, that that new that fears were illusions and that we're going to have to go through certain fears to show to others when you use your mind wisely and when you let your heart be open enough it will guide you it will guide you in ways that feel very honorable there's definitely uh, an energy of role model here how you're supposed to embody um this version of yourself now there's one more card for you pile number two and it's leading by example um i would say there's a realization that needs to happen because i feel some of you um you're trying is with the sword maybe to um prove yourself more with words use a lot of language i'm hearing a lot of like language but i feel that you come to understand that your power comes from your aura and that it doesn't require that much spoken words to inspire others or just like yourself to remember their light you're someone that is here to reawaken this power but you first need to do it for yourself and especially in your vibration not so much the words here Maybe you need to, yeah, I told you at the beginning, I don't feel like affirmations is something, uh, you can try, but that will require more force. Now, I don't, I don't think like that's, that's part of the messages for you. Your body needs to feel the words and um, maybe a visualization works best for you. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Like the wisdom of this pile is tremendous. Wisdom, wisdom is everywhere. Coral's wisdom, colony, delicacy, fragility, works that are created over great periods of time. Look at this. This is, to me, when I see this card, this is fascia. It's, the solution is in the fascia, and I'm going to put the Pleiades, um, not the Pleiades, I'm going to add the whole playlist, because one is to help you uh, answer quantum karmic bondage, and another, removing addictions. And what I mean by addictions, addiction is not just substance, okay? It's a, a mod of operation. It's a repetition. Some of you, maybe you heard, I don't know where it's coming from, for who that is, but um, you heard as a child repeatedly certain things. Maybe that you were stupid, maybe that you were not good enough, maybe that this and that was wrong with you. Oh, it just feels like a lot of, dark negative energy for some of you um and we need to remove this okay so playlist quantum fascia i love i love how you're going to see that you always had the answer and this is something that is going to go out of you and you're going to remember all of this there's a particular way for you to harness this power to harness this light and this full moon is helping you, my dear pile number two, to fully remember this. There's a specific remembrance about your, I'm hearing royalty, about your majesty, about uh, what you need to be proud of. That doesn't require words, but that requires your presence. And that 
is an embodiment that no one else could match. There's not going to be replication, people copying you, people competing with you. There's not going to be any way that that can be done. This is like unmatchable. And this is within you and you only. So that's what I have for you, pile number two. If you need energy support, again, I invite you, if you vibrate with this, with the cosmic energy alignment as part of my YouTube star family for the star seeds rise up. Remember also to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. If you want to comment, I always love this. Some of you, you're just like commenting as you're watching the video. It's so much fun for me. So just know that you are bringing a smile onto my face and my heart. <laughs> Namaste. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Those are messages to support you to remember who you are. So there's something here with this card, the Selkie in her skin, reclaiming your authenticity. There's something about your sensitivity. And I would say for some of you, hypersensitivity. I wouldn't be surprised that you try to overprotect yourself, uh, shield, armor yourself, not to feel as much as you're naturally inclined to feel. Yeah. Now, if you chose according to Zodiac placement, we have Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, and Pisces. I really strongly suggest your Chiron natal placement because of where the full moon activation is. The moon is next to Chiron in the same five degrees, uh, which create this, this message of knowing how to realign our focus so we can fully harness the light of who we are. Okay, there's something here about focus. Uh, by the way, I'll have the frequencies that I suggest for this alignment for each pile, but I think I'm going to put them for everyone because everyone can benefit. So far, we have Orion that can help you with focus, pile number three. Okay, uh, if you're struggling also on how people perceive you, I would suggest the Pleiades. And as far as working uh, to almost like create space for your inner light to shine more, the quantum fascia healing playlist, especially the decongestion of a, a numbness of your emotional field. This is a mantra that I use that is for blessing the waters. You are over 75% water, so you can imagine the power of this frequency mixed with some of the sound engineering knowledge that I have. Okay, so I'm going to keep this because I have in the background um, the map for this event because it seems that some of you, uh, you know, you're really starting to look into things and, and activate your connection to the stars, to astrology, to tarot, and this is just beautiful. So um, I'm keeping this in the background. You won't see it. Um, Let's see what we have for you, pile number three. Let's remember who they are. Who are you, pile number three? I feel there's a fourth card for you. Okay. And it's interesting because I kind of put this one first, that extra. Yeah, there's going to be a, a realignment. This is interesting. For you, the, I think there's a realignment of focus. Maybe you were intuitively. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I'm going to say it. Maybe you were over-focused on others. Okay. That could be a, a pile here where we had people that, uh, over had a tendency to over people, please to over, please, um, not see their worth. Yeah. Especially with, you know, with, uh, Taurus second house, the worth, some of you could have been uh, subconscious things that you have inherited or subconscious pattern that you had to replay. Some of you, it's the way the brain work, maybe how you were raised and especially also with Capricorn, the words that were spoken to you. Okay. Yeah. You might have attracted uh, to the point of even in your relationship and your friendship, especially in work and bigger crowds here, pile number three, a repetition of this constriction of your light. Okay. So we're here to remember who you are and you are light. You are a light being. And part of this full moon energy is 
first to address what needs to be shifted and your focus is here is especially focusing more on yourself maybe what you want your desires you see like the sun just started to appear i don't remember this happening before in the other piles mm -hmm. okay all right let's move forward i feel this pile could be very introspective Watch losing too much energy on when it's focused on other people. That is a very big drain for you, pile number three. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't do that. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. <laughs> Look at this light. The hands, you see? Wow. I love it. Oh my God. You guys, if you want to connect to uh, my experience with the cosmic alignment energy session for this energy. I will share my story because and pin it in the comment, it was just such an amazement as far as what I recovered. It was like traveling back in time in like being one month old. This was just like amazing. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I don't know. There's something here. Oh wow. Soul retrieval. Isis the healing goddess now offers you spiritual restoration and deep soul healing through the art of soul retrieval, reclaiming pieces of you lost through trauma, old and new. Soon you will enjoy greater wellness, energy, and power, so be willing to go through the healing process, knowing that any emotional clearing taking place is leading you to wholeness. Okay, so for you, pile number three, I'm definitely going to add uh, into this um, <laughs> chemistry the soul retrieval, the soul retrieval frequency. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Something beautiful. You know, I feel that... Um, there's a nurturing energy in your pile number three to small details, maybe like preparing meals, preparing uh, a room. I see such warmth and nurture in, in you. And I feel this is where you need to make sure that you address that energy to yourself first, especially with this blue. There's a lot of softness that you're being called to bring to yourself so you can finally see and remember who you are. We have here timing. The timing is just right for my dreams, desires, and goals to manifest. Listen, if, you, if you've been struggling with this or struggling to fully see or shine your light or remember your power, reclaiming your birthright, your authenticity, it was also through divine timing the, the you had to walk and i heard the word parkour <laughs> so <some> of you, <laughs> it felt like like whoa <laughs> parkour um yeah um that was that was uh maybe many lives yeah many lives to be able to retrieve this mm -hmm. but now the time is right this is the perfect time so let's see what we have. We have let go, which was part of so the message from pile number two. Some of you, if you hesitated, I definitely suggest maybe you go there. If that was part of your hesitation, if you're not, don't go. <laughs> Stay here. It says, I am kind to myself and share my beauty with those around me. I let go of self-criticism. See, I really, I feel some of you, maybe you were hard on yourself because of how hard uh, was your childhood or your parents or your environment. Maybe you were brought up in a harsh environment. Could have been violence. It could have, it, it, it just feels like um, there was a lot that were, was going on for you that kept on, <clears throat> wow, <clears throat> taking away your power, your power of self-expression. When you can express yourself, the throat is connected to mercury. It's creating uh, how you speak and it's creating your inner dialogue. And that's the card of the magician that robs you of your power of creation, that robs you from creating uh, the world that is in alignment with your 
words. It's, it's, it's infecting you with certain words and belief about yourself, especially with the way she's just, you know, almost like feeling like this is all me. I created all this. And yes, you created all this, but maybe you didn't just have the awareness. And now, divine timing, you're grasping this awareness. This is going to help you remember who you are. Okay, this is going to help you remember uh, what you also need to let go. And especially, I felt such nurturing energy from you. It's almost like, how can you be so loving to others like this? This, but yet not reciprocate to yourself. As a result, I'm hearing um, you might have created very imbalanced situations in your life. Now I'm saying like going from poverty to riches and riches to to rags. Uh, but it, it, you see how one can bring you uh, up or down, and it's now a time for you to focus on bringing that beauty, bringing that kindness into your cells, into your body, into yourself. And know that this is going to rebalance everything. I really feel it. Let go of the past dynamic. Let go, definitely. I would say for you, maybe you want to listen to the Quantum Fascia Healing Playlist at night. The whole thing, the whole three. Mm -hmm. Create some... Uh, frequency albums that help you process at night. I feel like you're so sensitive to sound, to so, it's very, and it makes you very, um, I don't know why I'm hearing prophetic, because you're, you're feeling things uh, coming. And I would say for some of you, you you've been hyper-focusing on the bad things coming and trying to protect yourself from bad things happening instead of focusing on Wanting to attract good things, which starts by treating yourself good. Wow, deep, deep, deep wisdom here for pile number three to harness, to be able to finally remember who they are. Then we have ask for help. I am willing to receive help from the universe whenever and however it happens. Again, if you're here, I have many things that I can offer you to support you. You can read the description of those videos. Uh, and I trust already those messages can help. But ask also your subconscious mind, I'm hearing, at night. Some of you, if you want to make a playlist, you can do the quantum fascia healing. You can do and add the surrender is the portal. Uh, you can put the soul retrieval. This is more of an active one. Uh, I feel like I've, I would have a hard time falling asleep to this. So maybe just not for falling asleep. But I would say... And then ending with the subconscious mind. I really feel like for you, there's like a template. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it down. Surrender. Um, the playlist. Well, you'll have the playlist above in the pile number two. Surrender. And then subconscious mind. This is really something that is dear to me to do this. And to make it easy for everyone to have access because I know everyone is busy, but I also know when it hits a chord. Like some of you, like the words that you're hearing, it's just like, I want to get there. I feel a strong desire from your uh, higher self to get you there, to get you to see truly the beauty uh, that you are, the heart that you have, the big heart. <laughs> purpose. My dreams connects me to my purpose. Again, um, that's part of asking for help. Some of you, if you need support, you know, you can have those frequencies, but you can program yourself to say to your subconscious mind, I ask my subconscious mind through my dreams to show me the way or to show me the way through my dreams, whatever type. But you can program yourself, program yourself to feel more kind and beautiful towards yourself. You know, ask your subconscious mind, um, the way back to your immaculate light. I don't know why I'm hearing this. Immaculate light. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I'm going to write this because it just feels like there's something here um, that maybe is another frequency for me at some point. <laughs> immaculate light. It feels like very much like, um, you know, uh, Mother Mary, something like very, the virtues, 
working with archangels, angels, maybe some of you that's part of uh, what gives you support or part of your angel team. Okay, pile number three. Whew. You had a to-do list. <laughs> I feel like there was a lot to move. There was a lot to move, okay? Hydrate, make sure that you hydrate, especially when you work with my frequencies. I move a lot of energies. Some of you, you know, if you've ever had personal readings or sessions with me, I download a lot on you. <laughs> mm. Now, after you move all this, my dear part number three, let's see the light of who you are. Let's see what's important right now for you to remember. Let's tap into this energy at this time. It feels like it could be. Yeah, I don't know why. It's almost like I feel like there's two dragons. I didn't want to go there. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's something very special. And maybe because this pile has had to, to wait. Then maybe there's like double, a double purpose, a double mission. Okay. Or double remembrance about your light. Let's see. We have the crystal yellow dragon which opens you to higher learning and wisdom. Expand your crown chakra for illumination. Walk the higher spiritual path. Okay. So, did I tell you? Yeah, at the beginning I mentioned to you, you're light beings. Working with the light, having a spiritual routine, being spiritually inclined being a sp of spiritual assistance is very important. Okay, and let's see. Maybe that's why we needed two. The earth and air dragon represents a perfect balance of heaven and earth. Wow. Stay balanced. Ground your visions. Manifest your hopes and dreams. Okay. Um, pile number three. You're here to remember the light that you are. And once you access this light, you're accessing a lot of information that is very particular to you and your purpose that will support the new earth to be anchored, that will support some of the visions. I feel that some of you, you've had dreams, daydreams, visions. Didn't I say something about prophecy? Yeah. Things you knew were coming, but your focus was on others and how to protect yourself from bad things or bad people or bad energy to get to you when really uh, it was to help you harness your light. Your focus is light. Your focus brings life. Okay. And now with this full moon in Aries, you're going to be fully harnessing the power of your focus, of your light, of your love. Because you know it comes through you. And you're going to, I, I feel like, almost like shine bright like a, <laughs> like a diamond. Okay? But I'm seeing more like a, a, a lighthouse. And you're going to be able to anchor down those energies. Yeah. Wow. Okay. There's one more card for you. Pile number three. And we have here the present. Gift, treasure, Revelation of own value, nowness. Wow. I mean, there's some, um, yeah. The present is also, it's, it's a definite, it's a gift. You're going to be able to ground some of the things you always kind of felt were meant for you, were, uh, that you had aspirations to, there's something about, you see how she seated on the chest and there is a key. I can't, I can't go further with those messages. This is a gift that is particular to you. There is definitely more, more skills, more talents, more, um, that wants to, to be activated through this phase. It's almost like one opens to more and to more, but it's not so much about more. It's more about in terms of materialization, it's about you understanding that you're more and that understanding and that harnessing is going to help 
anchor, anchor those energies, anchor those thoughts that lead into materialization, physical expression. So that's what I have for you. Pile number three. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, uh, remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow and I'm sending you many blessings, my dear ones. Namaste.